This one's a good one. Before we get into it, if you're new, click that like and subscribe button. Also, comment below and tell me what you think. Right now, though, we're going to take a look at some lures from Bass Box and Outdoors. Here we go. So, Bass Box and Outdoors and I have been friends for a long time. To be brutally honest, I think BBO is the first person I reached out to or talked to that is also a content provider. So do me a favor, go check out his channel and hopefully you like what he's doing. Dwayne has been doing videos for a long time and he's had a lot, he's also done a lot of subscription boxes, but what he's doing now is he's repainting some of the lures that he gets. You know, it's, uh, it's a little bit different of things, you know, he, get, he, he gets all these lures in these boxes and subscription boxes and then he takes them to the next level so they look really good. Now he's been painting, airbrushing them for some time and he reached out a long time ago and said I'm going to send you some stuff and here it is. He sent a box full of stuff and what he did was he made it really specifically for me. Now I'm going to tell you right up front, you're probably not going to see many more unboxings from me. Unless somebody sends me the box for free, I'm not going to do it other than Florida Tackle Club. I just have too much tackle. I think a majority of them aren't worth it and uh, I just don't I don't want to do it anymore to be honest. I think it's a waste of money at this point. But when you get them like this, it's really cool. So, he sent me a little note. I actually opened this up and read it to start off because I wanted to look at these guys. I was so happy about this but he said, hey buddy, I, I bet you thought I forgot about you. I finally sent uh, you some baits. Hope you like them. I paid in you something different, a little different. I think you will enjoy them and get your fish on. So thank you, Dwayne. Everyone again, go to Bass Box and Outdoors. So what he did was he took the clutch from Guggen Squad and, ju and just took it to another level. Look at that, man. Next. He set a big gun, which I'll take out of the box. And look at that one, look at the purple. I know my boy, Mark Tomlinson's drooling over this one right now. Great job. Can't wait to use that one, to be honest. That one dives three to five feet, I think. Two to six feet, excuse me. Next, he sent a three to five inch crappie one. And look at the, look at the paint job on this thing. Now these are all custom, so that's what's really cool about that. But look at that. How awesome is that, honestly? That's just awesome. Little rattle to it. Decent diver, three to five feet. Still something I can use. I mean, right now I can't use it because everything is, we're really, really um, low water right now. He sent me what he's calling the froggy. But look at the crackle and everything on that. That's just pretty cool. Look at the underbelly. Look at that. How awesome is that? Now I should say, I think he's going to sell these at some point in time. Maybe not the lures that he gets from the stuff, but maybe he, yeah, I think he's going to make lures, repaint them, make them look great, and sell them. So if you want more information, Bass Box and Outdoors on the YouTube channel. Love this one. This one's my favorite one that I saw. It's called the Greeny. It's a top water. And I love that. He obviously knows that I like dark colors. I mean, I'm a blue and black guy, but that green is gonna look good, especially with that bottom. That's what I like. I like the silhouette you get. Another fantastic bait. This one is called the Blue Fire Tiger. It dives two to four feet. Another, I mean, look, at, I mean, this is sickening, honestly. That's sick. Look at that thing. Honestly, that is awesome. I can't wait to use these. Honestly, I can't wait to use it. And last but not least, he sent what he's calling, I think this is called Dead Craw. And uh, just three to five feet diver. Look at that thing, man. How awesome is that? Really happy that he sent these to me because I don't think we real I don't think people realize how how uh, much how much time it takes to airbrush something and to make them take a, a, a dead looking bait. No offense. And make it look like that. So thank you, 
Dwayne, BBO, you're the man. Everyone, again, go check out his channel, Bass Box and Outdoors. If you want more information about getting some of his lures, hit him up. I think he's on Instagram. I think he's on everything. He does much better than I do. But uh, I'm really happy and excited to, to get these. Now that I've seen them here, I'll put them in the 360 and I'll get a better look at them. But remember to, uh, hopefully, you hit that like and subscribe button. So thank you for hitting it. Uh, remember, take a kid fishing. Get your fish on. Bass Box and Outdoors. Bass boxing outdoors go right now cheers see y'all hit like and subscribe take your um kids fishing <laughs>